At the end of a 2015-2016 academic year, the Students Union voted to leave the National Union of Students. Three years later, we're having another referendum to decide whether we rejoin the NUS or stay out of it. Today, we're going to ask students if they know what the NUS is, what it actually offers them, and if they know how they're going to vote. Let's find out. No, I don't know what it is. <laughs> no. 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 Not particularly, to be honest. I've heard of it, but I don't know what it is. Newcastle. No, that's Union. NUS U. Something, no. NUS, oh, the National Union students, yes. It's like a, an organisation which helps look after the body of students on a national scale. I guess they're largely there to represent students and the student voice. Um, and I know some student unions across the um, UK are like associated with them. Uh, the NUS kind of works to give student voice, so they lobby things like the government. I remember they used to have a, an NUS extra card that offered discounts on things, but it's also got a big, like... Uh, they have conferences and things like that where they decide on certain things that I'm not that familiar with. I know that they offer the, the discount card for £12 that you have to pay for. Um, and offers like a wide variety of discounts ac across laser companies and it can be quite useful if you go uh, like internationally wise because it is useful in loads of other different countries so for example like a few years ago I went to Athens um, and they accepted NUS cards so you could get the student discount to go see like to go into the ruins so you could pay less money with your student with your NUS card. I know that they take a fee from the union um, in order for students to pay to get discounts on services. But I know that you pay into it, you pay a certain amount, um, I, believe, I believe it's 56,000, um, but don't quote me on that. Um, That's the union that pays that, not, not The union, yeah. And then we get money back in terms of benefit, in terms of extra funding stuff for campaigns, and it can sometimes be quite good, it can be quite good with having campaigns for different marginalised groups as well. The only useful thing, in my opinion, that they've actually done was in 1992 when they um, managed to... Uh, stop students from paying council tax so before then we had to pay but they managed to lobby for that so that really but that was in 1992 and in my opinion they haven't really done much since then. I know we left I think when we were in first year or just before we joined first year um, I know there was some controversies around that um, but no I don't know that much about the referendum. I think I saw an email uh, recently about the referendum yeah something about like joining it again one thing I would say if there is online posters if there is blogs if you put out a new suit in that case, I would have probably seen it. Yeah, I feel like there's not really much information given like in proper like public uni domain. One of the reasons I know about it is because like I look, although you know I look at things like the council page and I get email and like we get the emails, but I know lots of people don't check their emails. Without necessarily having to tell me which way you're voting, although you can if you want to, do you know which way you'd vote on the third of December and why? Kind of. I think I do, but I need to do more research into what the current restructuring is going to entail. I'd want to learn more before I make a final decision. The same as him. I'd need to do more research. I'd probably vote to join because it seems better to be in it than not. Yeah. I, I'm not necessarily sure why I think that. I think, yeah, it doesn't seem to have that much of like an impact negatively on SU or like the students, so we may as well be part of it. One of the arguments led was that it was uh, inefficient, essentially, um, which I think is a fair argument to make, especially considering that they're currently in three million pounds of debt. Um, so yeah, that was the main argument, although at the time the leader was being accused of um, being anti-Semitic. Anti anti -Semitic. Even. There's been a lot of controversy around it in the last few years for it being like a corrupt organisation. I kind of respected why we left, but this time I'm not sure. That we should join it because it is like a massive national organisation campaign for like huge issues. I don't think it helps for us to be in isolation from those issues. You know, if we're talking about loans, if we're talking about liberation of marginalised groups. We share that with like tons of universities and by being out we're not being part of that conversation and we have benefited massively from the sort of the campaigns, being able to send delegates, from the research that they do, from the, the discount cards, from the funding that they offer at students' unions. I really don't see like any advantage to being out of it. I'm going to vote no, because I don't think it's worth it to pay £52,000 a year um, to go into 
campaigns that don't really make that big of a difference that to me haven't made that much of an impact on any students that we can make we can do those campaigns in-house you see we have campaigns weekly in our university that are localized to what we need here and I think it's far better to put that money towards things that our students can have a say in rather than things that are nationally dictated to us um, and in the 12 pound to pay for the card to get the discounts isn't worth it we've got uni days we've got our own discounts through NUSU it's just not worth it in my opinion I'm voting no because I don't think, as it stands, the NUS is helpful. I think they are in a lot of reforms at the moment, and although I think it would be good to you know, have our say, I also think it's not really benefit students at the moment, and I'd rather do our own campaigns here, do grassroots campaigns, build it up that way, and then hopefully get a national voice at a later date. It's in a precarious position at the minute, and I think for students it's... it's, it's lacks making real change to sort of students on on campus i think it sometimes it focuses too much on wider issue, on global issues i think as students as well we've got like so much to offer we've got so much to sort of to say and we're just kind of keeping it to ourselves and we should be contributing on like a national level with other sort of student unions we should, we should be that voice around the table and not sort of just keeping it to ourselves in our own union i think that would be really like amazing to be on like that level with everybody else well, they're like over 600 student unions, over 95% are wearing like the 5% who aren't part of it and it doesn't really make much sense for such a great student union to not be part of that. Firstly, the NUS are predicting that they will be running a £3 million deficit. This means that they will be reducing their outreach work and possibly cutting some of their liberation officers. Secondly, we would be having to pay around £150,000 for the three years that we would be part of them. This means less money for change on our campus. Finally, the totem card, which is why most people would join, is mainly redundant now because of places like uni days and student beans. The new SU referendum on whether or not we should reaffiliate with the NUS um, is happening on the 3rd of December. Polls open at 9am to vote and you have until Thursday at 12 o'clock and then it will be announced at council. I'd really recommend all students go out and research and form their own opinion and vote as it's going to be very important and will affect students for the next three years.